Hello guys, welcome back to Do It New YouTube channel. Uh, this uh, tutorials, my objective is uh, uh, how to uh, extract the ESD uh, data um, by using your uh, uh, Vue Pro software. So uh, already uh, my colleagues uh, Rohit Gupta and the uh, Department of Computer Science, uh, Rohit Gupta was explore my previous video. You can watch that. Uh, properly explain the how to take the spectral radi radiometer data and to how to collect that sample and uh, that sample collect uh, uh, then what what we can do so this is a uh, that sam and i'm not wasting the more time for a discussion about the all data how to collect uh, how to uh, taking that data you want to uh, you have no idea about how to collect that data you can just see my previous video and you uh, got the more information about that so you can see here this is a uh, my esd data uh, that data is uh, i was collected by the uh, esd uh, field spec for uh, spectral radiometer device and uh, one sample i collect the 10 uh, 10 file that sample and uh, this is a view spec pro software so i show you yes uh, these files are pasting inside of that I sh uh, I'll just show you the details and then we got the this graph that uh, this is a soil uh, data graph so entire process how I can do uh, I can show you uh, not wasting the more times so before uh, we just start this practical session I request you guys do not forget to share and subscribe my youtube channel we call it do it new and also press the bell icon so I continuously provide you the updated okay let's start just uh, we close this uh, everything is beginning this is a ASD data so uh, this open the view spec pro software just click on that and uh, you, you have two options uh, suppose uh, you want to just file and open and go to the directory and open that data so uh, and second one is option is to just select the, this data control a and paste inside so this is all 10 sample i can just select uh, top to down and uh, view the graph uh, this is a soil graph 10 sample soil graph you can see. so now this uh, spectral data we are collecting here uh, before we can uh, you can see here this is a uh, reflectance and this side is the wavelength so uh, you can you could not see here the reflectance so just go to the format and uh, select here the reflectance no derivative first derivative second derivative no, ab absolute so we go with the no derivative that is a reflectance is coming here this graph uh, but uh, we need to this is a same sample data actually this one sample data but we take the 10 uh, soil sample so uh, 10 sample we need to collect the mean that data just go to the file sorry you go to the process in view spec pro and uh, go to choose the statistic options and uh, then you can choose here the mean of that 10 file just create the soil mean soil mean sample second file to save uh, you can see here that uh, 10 input files proceed and uh, one output file created just select that you can see here uh, uh, 10 out of one files mean are created view and uh, look the graph this is a standard uh, soil sample graph you can see here uh, most important things uh, uh, guys uh, what uh, wavelength what minerals contains are existing uh, people uh, students uh, didn't didn't have the idea how to find the phosphorus nitrogen salinity value of that soil so uh, i show you the one graph just minimize this file this is a word file you can see here that this uh, soil parameters nitrogen uh, what uh, wavelength uh, we got the nitrogen this is a graph this uh, here 1905 this is a wavelength 1905 so 
this range uh, we got the nitrogen this range 1905 and various different uh, wavelength uh, found here the most sensitive spectral region and so nitrogen phosphorus potash magnesium iron copper zinc soil organic uh, carbon uh, ca co3 soil uh, salinity electric conductivity bulk density particle density hydraulic uh, conductivity sand silt clay and soil organic matter so various uh, soil uh, uh, minerals we are finding by using your soil sample and this is a most uh, sensitive spectral region that value are indicating to uh, that contents are uh, finding on that locations so uh, this graph uh, you can see here the for 350 nanometer to 2500 nanometer in between you got the this soil sample this is the range of uh, found the actually i i found that uh, spectral wavelength is uh, this literature study so uh, most sensitive reason nitrogen are finding on the 1905 uh, wavelength phosphorus 355 to 410 potassium 355 to 410 so uh, this is a standard spectral wavelength uh, you got the various types of the soil mineral content so we are not spending more time to uh, displaying that data uh, just you can see here so how to extract that uh, spectral signature uh, value to uh, numerical value so very easy uh, guys uh, not to uh, worry about that you can see here this is our means spectral uh, result so uh, just export that file uh, here is having the various options jpl png bmp and uh, emf wmf and clip that data is also but uh, we want to need a numerical data so just click on the text and data and just select the file and save that uh, data just give here the main file to extension you can see here the data extension dot dta and dot text just save uh, normally dta just export that file and uh, we just need a uh, data or labels so we need only data and some, sometimes uh, data and label just export that data on that location so we can see here the so you can see here the uh, soil spectral signature reflectance data in the creating the numerical data uh, i show you we go on that uh, save uh, location this is the save location this is sample uh, soil I mean sample 2 just right click on that file and uh, you can also open with that uh, some excel file Uh, just open the excel just uh, so I uh, mean sample just drag and drop on that excel file uh, it is open in the excel data uh, some problem are uh, saving sample uh, data actually uh, you can see here the not open that file just uh, return we just export that graph just click on the export file select the text click that browse and uh, save as a soil sample uh, data soil new data number and just save that file just export and uh, label with data just click export that file just minimize this both file just close this one go to that directory so it's soil new data just drag and drop here and you can uh, you can see here this is our result this is a 350 na uh, nanometer to this uh, 350 uh, band value this is a band 2 band 3 band 4 uh, total 2000 uh, band is a uh, you can press the con shift and press the end button and down arrow you can see here the 2500 nanometer value go to the uh, escape so like this uh, you can just collect that data by analysis your research uh, so next video i'll be creator how to that data to uh, extract the band to band information so we are stopping here uh, before we conclude this uh, tutorial i request you guys do not forget to share and subscribe my youtube channel we call it do it and also press the bell icon so i continuously provide you the updated so thank you guys we will meet on the next tutorial bye bye